Hi guys, everyone here, and I'm here with the next episode of Tips Week Shops and Stuff. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to build a hidden piston door. So, uh, I've got this plain wall here. Just press the button, and then the door appears. Then you go through, press it again, and close it up. It's also got a lock, so, well, so it's closed, and I lock it from this side. Say if someone else comes around and wants to tries to open it up, they can't do it because I'm still in there and I've locked them out. So yeah. Um, also, um, if you lock it and um, you try to close it after you, you can't do it. So it's it's kind of like a safety lock to make sure you don't lock yourself out of your own base. So yeah. Okay. So what you need for this is a uh, a ton of redstone, as you can see. Um, a bunch of repeaters. Um, probably might not need as many as those, but I'm just being safe. A ton of torches. Um, down here too. You're going to need uh, 4, 8, 12 sticky pistons. And some blocks to build it in. Um, and then the wall, whatever. But other than that, yeah. It is It is quite does quite tight take quite a fair bit of resources but I reckon it is pretty cool. Okay, so here's the way it works. Now the the main thing in the build, uh, the well the most complicated thing, is this thing here, which is known as a flip flop latch, I think it is. Um and what it does is when you press the button once, it will turn it so that this one's powered, and when you press it again, it'll make it so that this one's powered. So it's just a, a single cell memory, a single memory cell, and um, I'll show you how it works over here. So what it is, it's just got an RS null latch at the bottom, which is this. So what happens with an RS null latch is you press this button, the piston, or like this thing gets powered and that stays up, and you can press it again, it won't matter, until you press this button, and it'll go back down. So the way that works is it's also got uh, with the RS null latch. I mean, with the the uh, flip flop, it's just this. So the two blocks here with the redstone torches there, and the um, redstone current connecting them up. The outputs over there, and the inputs over here. So to make it into a flip flop, you just add an AND gate over here, like this. So it's just a little bit in the normal ones. Then you add a, oh, come on, you add a little thing over here. No, I don't want to destroy that. Oh, it's getting a bit dark. You add a thing coming over here. Uh, add an inverter up here. And then back down to this one. So, it all, it all comes in from one thing now. So, this one does it to both of them. So you press this button. It uh, does this one. Press it again. It doesn't know anything else because I did it wrong somehow. Right, forgot to put this on here. Okay, so normally it wouldn't have to do that, but since this is trailing off here, it's it it doesn't it doesn't automatically attach to these things, so you gotta add it something to attach to. So anyway, press this, switches it over and it's off. Press it again. It's off again. Right, so they had the wrong output. This one here is the output. This one has to go straight to the other thing, otherwise it messes up with the uh, connection over there. So, here we go. It, it's on at the moment. We press it again, and it switches off. So now, this happens because it's it's turning this one on, but then the current's also going around here. And if this one's on, because of the AND gate here, the current will go up here, turn this one on again, I'll turn this one off, sorry, and then this one on again. So it's kind of like having two buttons merged into the one thing, which is really clever. And I got this, like it's an RS, it's a flip flop. It's a lot. There's like loads of things about it on the Minecraft wiki. But I got this particular design from from now. Let's play Minecraft, and it's pretty cool what he did um, to find this out, and it's been really useful for my thing. Otherwise, I have to have some massive, big leading off thing. Where otherwise it's just really small and compact and works really well. So anyway, I'll show you the rest of the thing now. So, oh crap! 
Um, so what it is, this is the input from the switch over there here. You can, like this thing here, you can really hide that any way you want, but it has to be a button, sorry, because that's the way the T flip flop works. So this is the lock here. It just uses a simple AND gate. When when it's on, it means that the door can be opened, and when it's off, it means it can't be opened. And if you want it to the other way around, you can just add an inverter somewhere in there. So just like this, that inverts the current, but I think it doesn't really matter that much. So I just leave it how it is. Um, so this, what an AND gate is is if current is coming in from both of them it'll activate the middle thing. Now I've built this wrong I realize it's meant to have a torch here because otherwise it'll naturally invert it but when you have the torch here like I had to add, add an inverter in but then you can just add it straight there which is much smaller so oh yeah I forgot about that but um, this is the flip flop here so the output comes along here into where the pistons are so these ones are on the side it's got a bit of a delay because it needs to get to the needs the bottom ones to go first you probably could it decrease that delay, but I, I just like to be safe. I don't really care about a bit of timing. But um, yeah, down here is the bottom piston, so there's the inverter here, and then um, there's redstone torches attached to this block, so it switches them around, which opens up the bottom piston, um, the the bottom two pistons down here, and then I just throw it back on if I can reach it. Oh, pff, whatever I'll put it on layer, and then um, up here is the top pistons. So it's ex it's basically exactly the same as the bottom thing. So these two torches here affect because the good thing about redstone torches is they affect the blocks above and below them. So they affect this block here, which is attached to the top piston, which is what pushes that in. And then behind here is the other side. So it's exactly the same as the other one, except it's got one less delay because of this here, so that the redstone current can reach it. So yeah, I think that's everything about this and um the the cool thing about this one is that it's uh um it's completely flush to the wall so like there's there's nothing coming out or you don't you can't see anything except for the button and yeah oh there's there's one more thing I forgot to explain sorry this is the uh button here from the inside now this one it doesn't have to be locked for you to open it Whoops, because it doesn't actually go through the inverter, it just goes straight past, it doesn't go through the AND gate, sorry, it goes straight past into the flip flop here. So you can open and close it from the inside, even if it is locked, but then you can't back close it back up from the outside. So I hope you enjoyed that and found it useful, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time.